I do faith by saying the word and it says I can live large by faith if I learn how to say the word the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Hebrews chapter 10 verse 37 for yet a little while what's a little while is that now no Ed, I don't care where you are now a little while is not now for yet a little while in the future and he that shall come will come if I say someone shall come and will come are they here now no this is in the future a little while in the future he that shall come will come who's this talking about Jesus shall come will come in a little while not now well he that shall come Jesus will come and many are not going to like what I'm about to say right now if this scripture is true then Jesus is not here yet a little while in the future he Jesus shall come he will come he shall come which means if he will come and shall come he's not here we can clearly see that from this scripture I could take you to scripture after scripture after scripture that says the exact same thing that he's not here where is he seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven and shall come from there to here say from there to here which means he's not here now now verse 38 now so we're talking about the time now when he that shall come will come but isn't yet now which means in our day if you're reading this now the just shall live by faith so now in this dispensation before the return of Jesus which is where you're at now the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him say I walk with him, walk with him. until Jesus returns that's the deal that's the now that's where you're at yep. say I walk with him I walk with him who's the him you walk with the Holy Ghost the one Jesus sent mm -hmm. get that straight you know how many people don't have this straight just about everybody how can it be how can it be it be because of what Jesus said and then did he said I will go to the Father he will send you another he didn't say he will send me in the person of the Holy Ghost he said he will send you another say another, another. had to be a person like Jesus right mm -hmm. another person say another person, another person. then he goes on to say that he shall abide with you forever he'll send another that he may abide with you forever but he abides with you who's the he that abides with you the one he sent the comforter the another the Holy Ghost is the one that abides with you get that straight is this making sense some people are hearing it for the first time well Jesus did it he did what he had to do he went sat down at the right hand of the Father and sent another mm -hmm. well this is where we're at right now now you are in the earth and the Holy Ghost is in the earth and if you're gonna walk with God in the earth it is going to be with the Holy Ghost and the person of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that's scriptural what you've been doing is goofy 
the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him now the just shall live by faith are you here the just shall live and don't make that a small live meaning the just shall live when they die and go to heaven the just shall live make it a large live make it a large living say live, live. the just shall live he didn't qualify it it can be as big as you want it to be yes. big life in your finances means more money it takes money to live it takes more money to live big right yeah more life in your physical body makes you more healed less healed more healed more youth renewal life quickening an older body is what youth renewal the just shall live by faith now and it has to be a faith that says Jesus doesn't do anything for me because Jesus is not here he sat down at the right hand of the Father it has to be a faith that says not Jesus doing something it's gonna irritate some people but they're always saying Jesus is doing something when he sat down he's not doing something stop saying he's doing something he's not doing anything he's not healing you he's not delivering you he already did everything he needs to do and sat down and sent say sent, sent. another so if anyone's doing anything it's the another yeah. Yeah. so we're talking about the just living 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 large by faith and it has to be a faith that says not for Jesus to do this not for Jesus to come down and do that Romans 10 6 says that specifically faith does not say Jesus come down and do something for me stop saying that that's not faith that's religious gobbledygook the just shall live by faith in something the just shall live by faith in wouldn't it be the God that's in the earth today yes. and his word first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy say so gives us richly, gives us richly all, things all things to enjoy, to enjoy. who does living God and it says to trust in him another word for trust is faith the just shall live by faith in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy he's a living God he lives with living people in the earth his name is the Holy Ghost this is living the faith the faith that we live by that is in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy did it say some things to enjoy no it said all things say all things all things, all things must be here then all things here you can put your finger on where all things are trust in living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy so all things have to be in there all things have to be in that faith that's in the living God or he wouldn't have said that all things to enjoy were there that's, right. that's where they are that's where they are that's where they are say that's where they are where are they that's where they are faith in the living God would it be good to know how to have faith in the living God you got to know who he is first Romans chapter 10 verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith or doing faith right say doing faith right, doing faith right. the righteousness which is of faith speaks 
what if there's no speaking and you think you're doing faith right you're not you're not being scriptural we're talking about living by faith in the living God and in order to do that the righteousness or the right way of doing faith is speaking on this wise yes. say speaking on this wise on this he's gonna show you what you're supposed to be saying mm -hmm. and I find it curious the first thing he says is what not to say mm -hmm. it speaks on this wise say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above who's gonna go up to get him so he can come down here and do something for me that's literally what that means don't say that stop saying it stop saying that it's not righteous it's not right and it's certainly not right faith their faith isn't right if you're doing that it's not even faith verse 8 but what saith it what saith right faith what saith the righteousness of faith the word the righteousness of faith the right way to do faith say the right way to do faith, the right way to do faith. says the word that's the right way to do faith mm -hmm. I do faith by saying the word and it says I can live by faith I can live large by faith if I learn how to say the word what saith it the word the word is nigh thee in thy mouth and, and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach the word is nigh thee who else is nigh thee Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. hmm starting to make some connections here me saying the word Holy Ghost is nigh me here it says the word is nigh me in my mouth that's pretty close and in your heart that's where Holy Ghost is my mouth and my heart my mouth and my heart that's the word of faith that I'm preaching why aren't you preaching it when I speak the word I'm speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today that is the word of faith that is right faith that's my faith that's how I believe give it up stop writing me stupid things I believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I believe I walk with him in the earth as God it's speaking in agreement with his words that's the righteousness of faith which I preach well, he's nigh thee who are you walking with the Holy Ghost how do you walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word the word is nigh thee in your mouth well we live by this faith are you getting it how many people aren't living by this faith they aren't they're not living they're not living this way living God giving them richly all things to enjoy that's living this is the way you get that faith in the living God works like this saying say faith in the living God, in the living God works like this, works like this. saying, saying that's how faith in the living God works what saith it the word are you here stop praying for healing stop asking God to heal you stop praying for youth renewal stop praying for money stop it just stop most people are playing religious games and prayer is a big part of the game that they play the just shall live by faith what saith it what saith it it didn't say what prayeth it if you're gonna have life you're gonna do it God's way faith in the Living God works this way saying saying the word I guarantee you you might have been praying and praying for this and for that especially for healing or especially for money but because it's just part of your religious game you're playing nothing ever happens from it you would have much better results by just picking a scripture say a scripture, a scripture. and start saying it 
living God gives me richly all things to enjoy stop praying about healing it's not how this works stop praying about healing stop praying about money the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word the just shall live by faith you want life in your finances say I want life in my finances, want life in my finances. you want life in your physical body that would be healing yes. say I want life in my physical life body, in my physical body. right mm -hmm. this is how it works mm -hmm. you speak it mm -hmm. well the faith and the power is already in the Word of God spoken second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy of the scriptures came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost it came not by the man's will it came by the will of the Holy Ghost and they spoke according to the will of the Holy Ghost the scriptures were spoken by the will of of the Holy Ghost say the scriptures, the scriptures. were spoken, spoken by the will, by the will. of the Holy, the Holy Ghost they've already been spoken they've been spoken into this world by the will of the Holy Ghost they've been spoken say they've been spoken, they've been spoken. and every one of those words has the ability and power and faith in it already to bring itself to pass whose faith power and ability is in it the Holy Ghost he spoke it are you here so those words that we have the, the privilege to read now still have God's faith God's power God's ability to bring themselves to pass in them same listen same as when they were first spoken it's still resident in those words are you getting this yes. he spoke them they are going to produce mm -hmm. what do you suppose those words will produce itself what it said mm -hmm. the thing said yes. the words produce the thing said say the words, the words. produce yes. the thing yes. said yes. who said them Holy Ghost living God already said them already released his faith already released his power already released his ability in that word spoken to bring itself to pass are you here yes. it's important you need to know that that's where the power is Amen. i know here it's right here released in words that's how the faith comes. the just shall live by faith speaking words so every word of God contains the power of faith to bring itself to pass and this does not change when you speak it when I say a verse of Scripture I'm saying his words picture this now I'm saying a verse of Scripture me saying a verse of Scripture does not change the fact that the power and the ability to bring itself to pass is still in those words are you seeing this this is important because I can sit and say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus what did I just do I said his words into my life those words have power in themselves to bring themselves to pass where in my life because I said them yes. the righteousness or the right way of faith speaks it says the word and the word is not you in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach some people are hearing this they're getting it those words spoken out your mouth contain the same 
power the same faith the same life the same ability to bring themselves to pass listen when you say them they didn't change from you say oh yeah his power and abilities in those words every word to bring itself to pass right he released it spoke it into the earth now i say them and they contain the same power authority faith and life are you here are you getting this when i say them well how could it be how, because they're his words i'm not saying my words i'm saying his words the problem is people haven't been saying his words those words spoken by you contain the same faith power and life to bring themselves to pass when you say them you give voice to god's word you agree with them by saying them you agree with him the holy ghost the living god in the earth today by saying them i mean that's a massive revelation right there people if you can get it number one it begins with understanding that god's word contains his faith his power and ability to bring itself to pass it's in his word it's resident in his word and he's already spoken it he's released his faith when he spoke he released his faith that that would come to pass when you speak that verse of scripture it doesn't change it it still has the same faith same power same ability to bring itself to pass but now in your life first corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh say worketh, worketh. that one and self same spirit who's that holy, holy ghost dividing to every man severally as he wills say as he wills, as he wills all these worketh that one so we're talking about the holy ghost working mm -hmm. as he wills yes. he's going to work as he wills oh, give me that is the holy ghost going to work as he wills yes. according to this verse of scripture the holy ghost worketh mm -hmm. as he wills he's going to work as he will say that he's going to he's work as he wills well what do we know is his will we know that holy men of god spake as they were moved by the will of the holy ghost he works as he wills he works his word is his will his will is his word he's already said it therefore it's his will he works that he works that who works that holy ghost works that what does he work you say he works that he works his word does he work his word in a life and a person and a mouth who doesn't say his word no when you say his word he works that say when i say, when I say his, word, his word he works that. he works that what's working that his faith his power his ability that's resident in that word those words you're saying he works that his will is his word his word is his will he works that he works that word spoken the Holy Ghost works that word spoken say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost works, works that, that word, spoken. word spoken when you speak he works it if you speak it and he doesn't work it if you don't speak it this is the faith in the Living God giving you richly all things to enjoy living god gives you richly chapter and verse to enjoy if you say it this is the word of faith which i preach faith in who the holy ghost faith in what his word his word spoken 
first Thessalonians chapter 5 21 prove all things now remember the living God gives you richly all things to enjoy say the living God, the living God gives, me gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy prove all things who did it say was to prove it God's supposed to prove it no he said you prove all things who does the proving we do, we do. you say it you prove it you don't ask for it to be done for you you say it have I shown you that so far that the righteousness of faith speaks what says it the word the just shall live live large in this faith this faith that they speak the word how far does that word go it goes as far as his faith is as far as he released his faith to do it you say it you prove all things there are other scriptures that say that prove me now herewith says the lord of hosts. you prove me you prove it you prove this you prove it you prove it what do you mean prove it you say his word and prove it prove that it works Amen. i'm proof that it works you're proof that it works this is proving god with it yeah. by saying it in fact your body healed is proof that god exists your youth renewed is proof that god exists your finances increasing is proof that God exists the Bible says glorify God in your body in your body who's the God in your body the Holy Ghost the only way you're gonna do that is by speaking in agreement with his word it's how he does everything prove all things how hold fast to that which is good how are you going to prove all things hold fast to that which is good hold fast to what you're saying is good hold fast you know what that means right hold on to it grab on to it stop saying other things if you're holding fast to that you're not holding fast to something else right you hold fast to that my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus who is my god the Holy Ghost supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I hold fast to that I prove it I prove it I prove it God would you prove it to me no you prove it say I prove it, I prove it. or you don't prove it many people are living proof of nothing that what they do doesn't work say I'm living proof, I'm living proof that, this works. that this works you proved it prove all things hold fast how you hold fast to saying that which is good say I hold fast, I hold fast to saying, to saying that, that which is good what's good his word is good Hebrews chapter 11 look down at verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated translated means changed right he was tra changed from one state to another you might be translated from poverty into wealth say I will be, I will be translated, translated from poverty, from poverty into, wealth. into wealth how'd you do it Enoch by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation say before his translation, before his translation. when would that be well that's before so he's saying he was translated but before his translation before that happened say before that happened before, that happened. before his translation he had something he had this testimony 
before his translation he had something he had a testimony a testimony is a saying mm -hmm. and that saying pleased God mm -hmm. he had to be saying what God said yeah. saying what God said will cause you to be translated saying what god said will cause you to move out of poverty into great abundance and then wealth if you're faithful saying what god said will deliver you from a from a broken or sick body and put you into a healed body that's youth renewed you shall be translated by saying what god said and we can see that now that it's his faith and his life and his youth renewal that's in that word you have to say it though that is the righteousness of faith which we preach that is right faith righteousness of faith right faith but without faith it's impossible to please him he that comes to god must say must. must must believe that he is i believe that the holy ghost is is what is god i'm coming to god the holy ghost i believe he is is what is god is in the earth say is in the earth, in the earth. i believe god is and that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him yeah. i diligently seek him by saying his words you can say that diligently speak him does he reward that no he doesn't re then you're not reading your bible he rewards it what do you suppose the reward of speaking god's word is what you said what the word said what if i say a prosperity scripture and i say a prosperity scripture scripture and i commit to saying a prosperity scripture and stop saying all this other garbage that's against it what will i be rewarded with that prosperity scripture if i say a healing scripture and i say a healing scripture and i say a healing scripture and i keep saying a healing scripture and i stop saying all this other stuff that's against it what will i have what will i be rewarded with that healing scripture which is health yes. youth renewal what if i say the youth renewal scriptures and i say the youth renewal scripture and i say another youth renewal scripture and i keep saying the youth renewal scriptures and i stop saying all that other garbage that's against it what will i be rewarded with that youth renewal scripture is this making sense yes so i believe you must believe that he is and that he is presently a rewarder of those that diligently seek him or speak in agreement with him no diligence no reward am i making this up if i'm diligent i'll be rewarded with that just like god taking enoch from one thing to the next you can be translated from poverty into wealth you can be translated from sickness into health you can be translated from old age problems into renewed youth mm -hmm. but god won't take you any higher if your words aren't straight remember he had a testimony that pleased god you suppose his testimony would have pleased God if he was saying one thing and then another thing no his testimony pleased God when your testimony pleases God which it hasn't been when your testimony pleases God he shall translate you from one thing to the next and there is no limit but God won't take you any higher if your words aren't straight james 3 verse 10 says out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursings and then he says these things ought not to be where's that guy gonna get nowhere he goes on to say that that person will get nowhere blessings and cursings well the blessing of the lord makes rich the cursing of the lord makes poor 
you've got both of those things coming out your mouth you need to stop one of them living God gives me richly all things to enjoy when you learn how to walk with him by speaking his word all things to enjoy are made available to you the Holy Ghost does for you what you say he will do for you and he doesn't do for you all the things you say he doesn't do for you Psalms 91 verse 2 I will say of the Lord he is my I will say of the Lord he is my say I will say of the Lord he is my is this in your Bible this is how you dwell in the secret place you say of the Lord whatever you say the Holy Ghost will do for you is what he will do for you I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and fortress my God in him will I trust trust in the living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy Amen. say living God, living God gives me, gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy what if I say that is there power in that verse to bring itself to pass yes. if you say it verse 16 with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation who is he satisfying him the one who says of the Lord this isn't in some other chapter he's satisfying the one who says of the Lord with long life he satisfies me say with long life, with long life. he satisfies me satisfies and shows me and shows his me. salvation is there power in that verse to bring itself to pass yes, yes but only for you if you say it living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God gives me richly enter scripture here all things to enjoy living God gives me richly whatever scripture I say to enjoy and I can enjoy that scripture are you here living God gives me richly richly Psalms 91 verse 16 to enjoy living God gives me richly Proverbs 10 22 to enjoy the blessing of the Lord makes rich he adds no sorrow with it I say it I say it I say it and when I say it I'm saying God's Word and his word still has all the power and ability and faith in it to bring itself to pass now in my life living God gives me richly Psalms 107 20 to enjoy he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions what am I going to enjoy if I say Psalms 107 verse 20 his word sent and healed me and delivered me why did you stop saying it did anybody tell you to stop saying it did he tell you to stop saying it you say it until you prove God you prove God holding fast to that which is good he shows me his salvation and that's the proof well all of my partners are rich all of my partners are made rich with no sorrow added Proverbs 10 22 all of my partners are healed of every infirmity and every disease all of my partners have their youth renewed well how can you say this how can you know this because I say so and they say so and the Living God the Holy Ghost has already said so and all of my partners reap multiplied returns on their giving living God gives them richly Luke 6 38 to enjoy they give and it's given unto them good measure 
pressed down shaken together running over is it given into their bosom with the same measure that they meet it is measured unto them is their faith and power and ability in that word to bring itself to pass yes. my partners enjoy it i enjoy it Amen. say i enjoy it, I enjoy it let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are beginning to enjoy the life and the faith that's in your word and as they speak your words they shall see the new thing arise and say here I am and the way will present itself and they'll walk in it and we will prove the living God in the earth today and rejoice in it we're so thankful Holy Ghost that we get to know you and walk with you in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I, worship you. I thank you, you that you are moving you are in my life you are working your word for me now I am blessed I am made rich and no sorrow is added I worship you Holy Ghost I thank you for it in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven